going on guys? I just got set up. I actually already caught one. Right off first drop. I'm still getting set up and I just dropped the line down. There's some fish on the bottom and got one to go. So one on the ice so far. Outside. Do the next thing. Just getting the camera sorted. Let's see if I can get another one. I got the first one on a menace. As I'm trying to tie up this new bait, fish comes in, smacks me. Surreal fishing. Should be looking like it'd be a good day, but let's you never know. The bike could turn off. Let's capitalize while we're while we're on them. I might get rid of this high hook just because it's gonna get in the way of me trying to land all these fish. There we go. Not a bad whitey. Decent one. Alright, so this one's gonna be my second one for keeps. Oh, here comes a fish. There's a streaker. Oh, he's act. Oh, he's going down. He saw my high hook. Slam it, slam it, slam it. Oh, you f Had him on the high hook. He spat it right as I went. There's another fish coming up on my high hook. There we go. Oh, big A diesel. Get that GoPro going. I do. On the high hook. Oh, I hear my fish outside burping like a mother. Sat on my rod. There you go. It's not a bad whitey. I get him to burp a little bit. Alright. This thing rolling? Cool. What's going on, guys? Quick break from the action. It's actually the next day. I realized while I was on the water, I had the thought of filming a quick gear breakdown and I forgot to do that. So it's the next day. We're going to do it now uh, while I'm just here in the car. So I used primarily two rods yesterday um, fishing and both caught fish. Um, this this one I'm going to first show caught, I think, the majority of my fish. So bait I was running was this is a uh, this is a menace. It's one of the nose down jigs we have here uh, that's popular to use around Simcoe. It was same, similar to like the Meigs, the, the Megs, um, the Bad Boys, any, any sort of nose down jig like that. Um, I use the Meigs, the Menace, I use, I use kind of all of them. Uh, it sort of just comes down to personal preference in terms of like what you like to use. They all kind of, generally speaking, they all kind of do the same thing. It's just a nose down minnow that digs into the sand, you know, rocks or whatever, however like to, however way you like to work it. I just picked out this one for my box because uh, I really like the gray and silverish. I was fishing in uh, deeper water, 120 some feet. And in that deep water, I like some colors I really like are, you know, grays and silvers. Also, white works really well. And so I just really liked uh, this. When I go into shallower water, I'll switch over to more browns, more light browns or dark browns. Sort of imitate that go that more realistic goby. But ultimately, you can use either or in either setting and you'll catch. So I have that and I just have it tipped with uh, like a two inch Kai Tech. A lot of people like tipping with tubes. I'm sort of just experimenting with uh, some newer stuff this year. So um, I'm just going to try out uh, some swim baits and, you know, some other kinds of plastics. You know, even you could tip it with minnow. You could tip it with whatever you want, really. Um, it just comes down to preference and what you're most confident in. So I've been trying this out lately. It's been working pretty well. So maybe give that a go. See what you like. Um, I also was running a high hook. So this is uh, the Mags Gobi. Now, if any of you know anything about uh, the plastics, you know that they have... The, the it's like a three or four inch goby plastic and those are really well it's similar to like a drifter or any sort of other goby imitation plastic those are really well i'm not sure when they came out with these i first saw these at the sportsman show last year and when i first saw them i thought oh this would be a great high hook so i've been trying it out this is like a smoky white color almost um i don't know the exact name 
but uh, I've been having really good success with it. Um, even even for perch, I was using it as a as a high hook for when I was fishing for perch. Works really well. It's been working really well for for whiteies as well. Um, no complaints, honestly. I've I've really liked it. Fins, you know, they're soft enough where they won't get in the way. You know, you can use a lot bigger plastics. I just really like the small little profile. Gives them something something else to uh, to chew on. But yeah, just sort of working the jigs away. You know, we, you know, kind of waving it off bottom. Fish comes in, drop the jig down to bottom, start working in the sand, and there's not much to it. It's pretty much it. In terms of rod and reel, this, the rod is the 36 inch, this is the Meeks custom rod, uh, made by, I think, Streamside, they make them now. It's a really good rod, I've really enjoyed using it, not a really good setup. Uh, the reel I have, uh, going with it, nothing fancy, just Shimano Sienna, thousand size, and uh, yeah, so it's been working really well. Uh, eight pound braid, going to uh, eight pound fluorocarbon leader, anywhere between six and 10 pound fluoro, works really well. So that's about it for that. The second rod I was using, it's not really that much different in terms of the rod and reel, 36 inch rod, thousand size reel, but it's just a 14 gram vibrato. So it's just another bait that I've been using that works really well. Um, same work at the same way as the Meeks, really tapping on bottom, you can also fish it up high. But yeah, 14 gram vibrato. I only caught, I think, one or two fish on it yesterday. It was mostly just the Meeks I was using. That's what I have my confidence in. But uh, yeah, so enough talking about the gear. We'll just get back to the fishing. There we go. Just got off the phone with dad. This guy decided to come out to play. Another fish on bottom. I'm up here in uh, Kempenfelt Bay. We're in some deeper water, so it takes a little while to get up. One thing you do want to try to do is, if you're not planning on keeping the fish, try to uh, bring them up a little slower. You know, try not to force them too much, and uh, just it helps reduce the, it helps give them a chance to burp. Especially if you get them out of the water, you can get them to burp, and I'll be really good. Um, gives them a chance to like you know reorient themselves. Got some T Swift going on in the background. This guy's just about here. Another fish I'm showing up on bottom. This ice is so clear I could see him just right underneath me. Another good whitey. I might ride out of the water. It's burping good like that. Alright, here we go. Be my third whitey. I had one in the hole, it kind of just popped off, I let him go. There we go. Good shit. On the meat? Hi, Hook. Popped off halfway. Oh. Finishing up my day here on the lake. Uh, did pretty good. Not not great by any standards, but we got I got four for five on whiteies. Missed a laker. That's about it. Yeah, not too bad. Just uh, nice for me to finally get out. You know, school's been kicking my butt lately, so it's just nice to get out and enjoy a break of some kind. Be safe out here guys, the ice is still very very sketchy, especially in a lot of places and uh, uh, yeah just find your way out, check ice. If you don't know, don't go. Um, this weather we've been having, it's not the greatest, so be safe, you know, wear your picks, if you have a floor suit, wear it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, if you guys like the video, then please. Like, comment, share. 
wherever you want. We'll try to push as many more videos this year, but obviously I have to put fishing as a priority on the whole for a little bit while I focus on school. But yeah, till then, catch you guys later.